This is Steve Does, episode number 20. Now, Steve Does is the, the fitness side, the fitness and nutrition side of the, the weekly live shows that I do. Literally, there's a live show five days per week usually, or at least five different types of live shows a week. There's Steve Says, which is on motivation, mindset, the mind. There's Steve Does, which is this, which is on the body, the fitness and nutrition. There's Steve Knows, which is on the business side of things, how to make more money, sales, marketing, building a team, leadership, communication. Then there's the family side of things, where there's Wednesday, there's Breaking the Cycle that I do the live show with the two little free kids. And then on Friday is continued on the family show with the Russian and the freak. We're talking about how to run a family, a business, balance things in life in general. So this is Steve Does, where I'm talking about literally just different ways to stay fit, stay healthy, boost your immune system, be well-rounded when it comes to your health and your fitness and nutrition, where you are in peak condition, you're having peak performance, peak potential, and peak physique all year round, where you're staying in shape all year round. That's what goes on here on Steve Does. This is gonna be a real quick episode, because right after this, at 5 p.m., Pacific time, that's 8 p.m. Eastern, there is a free live webinar, a free a free full two-hour webinar coming up on Zoom. You do need a Zoom link, so send a message in the comments below if you want to re register to get the Zoom link for that. And we will send you the Zoom link so you can get on that. And then from uh, that webinar is going to be how to operate to dominate in your mind, your body, and your business. So we will go in even a deeper dive into this body section of kind of what we're talking about here and we were gonna break that down for you. And, and, and that's gonna be some higher level, really digging deep into the granular stuff that we use with our private coaching clients in the OTD, the Operate to Dominate, Peak Performance, Personal Development Coaching Program. And that's coming up at 5 p.m. Pacific. So if you want to get in on that webinar, just leave me a comment below or just send me a message. I'll send you the link, the, the Zoom link or the registration link, and then you'll get the link for the Zoom. It is a live webinar, full webinar, the open Q&A at the end. It's gonna be the high level stuff that we do with our coaching clients that pay thousands of dollars a month, thousands of dollars an hour sometimes for this type of stuff we're gonna be talking about. So, let's, let's get into it. We're gonna to talk today just about supplements overall. Now, we're not gonna go into supplement recommendations or anything that I, I could talk about some of the basic supplements I use. There's not really a ton of them. But really, I wanna talk about the purpose of supplements and the, the misuse of supplements and the misuse of doctors and the misuse of prescriptions and all this other stuff not just supplements i want to specifically talk about testosterone and what i don't even know the detail whatever else people use there's all kinds of, i'm not an expert in that at all that's not what the purpose of this is to tell you the difference of testosterone replacement therapy i know nothing about that stuff i couldn't tell you about it i just know one thing that probably i'd say 90 percent or higher of people i know that are on any kind of Doctor recommended, reco fucking mended, whatever you want, whatever that is, or prescription drugs or prescribed by the doctor recommendations, 90% at least have no fucking need to be on that stuff. And this goes probably for almost all medication. We're talking about specifically for things like this stuff that they want for performance enhancing. Let's say I go to the doctor and I say, I think my testosterone is low. And I go to a special doctor that I know is known for making prescriptions like that. Legally, legally, of course, but let's just say I did that. I go there, I say, I think my testosterone is low. They, they test me, and my testosterone is low. Oh, it's low. I could get you on this, this, these hormones or these steroids or stick a fucking needle in your ass, whatever it is. I don't know what, what exactly they give or what they prescribe or whatever it is, but let's say they do that. That's what they do. Immediately, it's banned, because that's going to make them a shitload of money on a regular recurring basis. Great business. Is it good morals and ethics? Probably not. Are they doing their due diligence to help that person's longevity? Probably not. Are there people who absolutely need that shit at certain points in their life? Yes, I'm sure there are. Hell yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of people that do, but not the percentage that use that kind of stuff or any kind of prescription. I know uh, I have a client who went, didn't, doesn't really like doctors and goes to the doctor, his heart, heart rate or blood pressure is up in, in, in very good shape, been training hard, running and biking and, and endurance racing, they say your blood pressure is a little high. And they do a stress test. And he does pretty well, but his heart rate gets up, blood pressure gets up, that's what a fucking stress test is. 
Once it's done, they say uh, something was a little, a little anomaly, something on whatever, some number, I don't know the details, but I think we should put you on blood pressure medication. Like, what the fuck? Like, literally, after one thing, we should put you on blood pressure medication. I don't know much about that either. I'm not, I know nothing about it. If you're coming to me for your medical fucking resource, then you just hit rock bottom, and that's your own stupidity. I'm just, we're just talking here. We're just talking people in, in a fucking gym. Meatheads in the gym. But if one test of a stress test that you do pretty well on is causing you to be put on pres prescription fucking drugs, blood pressure medication, there's something wrong with that fucking picture. Or if, I, or, or if your testosterone is low on a test and you're automatically putting on some kind of steroids or, or, or whatever, however the fuck it works, something wrong with that picture. How about asking questions to that person with the high blood pressure or that person with the low testosterone? Hey, how's your stress levels? How's your relationships at home? Do you have any kids? How often do you see them? Which relationship have with your kids? Do you have a spouse? Yes? No? No? Is that How do you feel about that? Not that they're their therapist, but asking these simple questions like, how about work? What do you do for a living? Oh, you run three fucking businesses. You're stressed out. You just The corona shut them down. You're getting sued by another. Of course, your fucking blood pressure is up. Of course, your fucking testosterone is low. You're not sleeping. You're stressed out. You're not eating healthy foods. You're not doing a he living a healthy fucking lifestyle. Like, go back to the fucking basics and fundamentals before you start prescribing all kinds of trash to people. Like, really, like, think about it. Fucking crazy. Before you start prescribing these, these drugs and hormones and some of that shit, I don't know much about, but I like blood pressure medication, I, I, certain medications, I, th I believe once you go on them, you're never going to be able to come off them. Once you start putting some fake hormones in your body, your body's going to completely shut down any ability to, to make it more of it and... It's just gonna rely on that and need, and you're gonna be dependent on that the rest of your fucking life. Basically addicted. Dependent, a dependency is addiction for the most part. Your body will be addicted to it even if you're mentally not. It's fucking crazy. So in, instead of changing, how about you change your fucking lifestyle? Same thing with fucking vaccinations and not, whatever. You wanna get a vaccination, not get a vaccination, and not even just for the corona, any kind of that, whatever the fuck we're talking about. Any kind of medication, any kind of vaccination. First, get your own shit in order first. How about that? How about you first make sure you're getting enough sleep and rest and recovery. You're clearing your mind, you're doing your meditation and all this other stuff. You're drinking a shitload of water. Your number one performance enhancing drug and supplement on the top of your supplement list should be fucking water. And if you drink enough water and got enough sleep and lowered your stress, I guarantee 90% of those people don't need fucking blood pressure medication and hormone replacements and all this other shit, especially when you're talking, you're in your fucking 30s. Come on, man. Fucking crazy. You're just looking for the fucking edge, is what it is. Like, cut that shit. Shit ain't cool. Like, build that shit up the right way. Take care of yourself so you have the longevity to... And who knows what... I, I don't even know. I don't know much about this stuff. But if, if something is boost... Like, even, even like steroids or something. If it's boosting, rapidly helping stuff grow in your body. What if you got a, a cancer? Wouldn't it would rapidly grow and spread? I don't know. Maybe I'm off. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But that's just like my thought process. Like... Deal with shit the fucking right way. Drink a shitload of water. Now, if you need, if you're low in, in, in certain nutrients and you get your blood work done and your potassium's low, sure, go get a potassium fucking thing. First, try to get enough in your, your diet and your nutrition, but if you're training your ass off, maybe add a little bit of some basic little potassium vitamins you can get at, at, at fucking vitamin shop or Walmart or whatever. But if your doctor has to give you a prescription, you have to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month for some shit you don't even really need. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about supplements today. Number one fucking supplement you need is water. The second um, the second supplement you need is fucking rest, recovery, sleep, regeneration. That's what you need. Those two right there, because that rest, recovery, and regeneration will lower your stress levels. Physically, mentally, emotionally. If you're not getting enough sleep because you're up at work fucking stressing and sending out emails at, at 9, 10 p.m. And, and in bed and falling asleep right before you're going to fall asleep and that, putting that shit into your subconscious mind, of course you're going to fucking wake up with low testosterone and high blood pressure. Like, the, the, issue, the issues are never fucking looked at. It's just, let's fucking pump you full of a whole bunch of drugs, whatever those drugs are, and, and so the, the drug companies and whoever else can make a shitload of money. It's fucked up. Drink some more water. It's fucking brilliant, right? Good thing you came on the show. That you're here to drink some more fucking water and get some better rest and recovery and sleep. Fucking break, groundbreaking stuff right there. Fucking crazy.
Like, that's what it takes. That's it. There's a secret to longevity. Train every fucking day. Set up recovery times during your day. So you can train every fucking day. Have smart training. Be smart about your training. Do proper warm-ups, stretching, whatever works for you. Foam rolling. I have these so right things here that are fucking awesome lately. To dig out some, some knots and fucking all kinds of fucked up shit from the dumb stuff I've done in my life. Like, take care of your, your inner first, your outer after that, and you won't need any, barely any, any of those fucking supplements. Maybe if you're out there all the time and you're just burning through and, and getting dehydrated, then like I use Trulene, some Trulene supplements for boosting immune system and hydration. I use Herbalife some, for some meal replacements when I need quick meal replacements and pre-workouts. If you need those little extra just nutrients because you're, you're getting a good amount, your, 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 foundation, your, your foundation of your diet should be 85, 90%. And if you need to supplement, your supplement should be supplementing your diet. Your diet should not be fucking supplementing your drugs and your, and your prescriptions and addictions. It's fucking crazy. Like, that's why you need to think about supplements. That's what, when you go to your doctor and they say your testosterone is low, you should be asking them, whoa, 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 you want to put me on fucking prescription drugs? How about, can you give me some maybe recommendations on how to, uh, how to fix my lifestyle? Because you know what? A good majority of those people are probably fucking fat and out of shape and living unhealthy, and their stress, and not deal, managing their stress, and not dealing with their family the way they should be, so they have even higher stress levels. So they're pumping themselves full of all kinds of stuff. So, hey, it works for me, let me just dump it on you. I'm not saying that's all of them, but I'm just saying. Whatever. You decide. If you really, you really need to be on that, like, people don't need to be on that shit. There, there's no way that the amount of people that are on fucking testosterone, there's that many people that just have low testosterone genetically. Their body's just not producing it. Fucking impossible. You, there are so many ways to elevate your own testosterone to take care of yourself, and it starts with everything we've been talking about. Like, train fucking smart. Of course, if you're overtraining, you're gonna need, your recovery's gonna be shot, you're gonna be all fucked up, and your recovery time's gonna be down. You're gonna feel slow and sluggish and and out of it and not interested in shit. Oh my God, your testosterone is low, that's why it's happening. No, your lifestyle is fucked up, that's why your testosterone is low. Your testosterone is not low because of, just, just, just naturally. It's low because you have a, you're not taking care of your fucking lifestyle. And then once you start using your, your special sauce or, and, and this goes for anything. If, if these medications were around when I was a kid, fucking, I would have every alphabet, A, B, C, D, H, D, A, C, D, C, whatever. They would have accused me of every fucking thing that goes on these days. I would have been pumped full of all kinds of drugs. I would have been all fucked up, more fucked up than I am. All these, I don't even know, I don't even know like those prescription drugs that I hear like rap songs and in movies. I can't even think of what they are. Uh, they're in song. Adderall and Ambien or something. I don't. Even, I really don't know. I would have to look them up. I don't even spend the time to. I probably should research a little more, just a little more about them. But again, I go back to if you're coming here for your medical advice, you're, you're fucking stupid. We're just talking. We're just talking real common sense shit. Talking a different way for you to think about your health, your wellness, your inner and outer game, your fitness and your nutrition, your supplementation, nutrients you're putting in your body, your fucking hydration, your rest, recovery, and regeneration. That's really just the point I wanted to get across here today on this episode of Steve, Steve Does. Because that's what I do, is if something's off, like even if I have a headache, this is, this is what, like if I have a headache, I will not go and take some fucking aspirin or whatever, Tylenol, I don't know which one, aspirin, ibuprofen, whatever the hell the difference is, or acetaminophen, all this other stuff. I will not go and take that. I will say, okay, why do I have a headache? If I'm getting a headache regularly, and I don't get headaches often, but, I, but I, I'll, get, I'll get a headache, everyone gets a headache here and there. Why am I getting a headache? Let me think back to the last 12, 18, 24, 36 hours. Was I hydrated? Was I recovered? Was I, I had anxiety? Was I stressed? Was I getting pissed off? Was I losing control of my fucking emotions? You can see how all these, all these shows really tie in together and they're interwoven. They all could be together in, in the same type of show. As we're talking about fitness, nutrition, health, and wellness, it, could, it easily ties into personal development. It easily ties into your business because this will absolutely fucking affect your business and how you operate to dominate in your business. That's why today's webinar coming up here in, shoot, 11 minutes 
is on how to operate dominant in your mind, your body, your business. We're going to talk about how they all intersect, how they all blend together with discipline and energy and confidence and becoming an action taker and being your freak self and living with personal freedom in all those areas. That's what's going to be on this webinar coming up. So if you want to get down that last minute, send me a message. You need to do it right now because this webinar starts in 11 minutes. At the end of this webinar, I'm actually going to share some freak frameworks of mine and, and, and templates that I have for designing your morning routine, for designing your end of workday routine, for designing your end of night routine, exactly how to do those things to lower your fucking stress levels, to make sure you have the right rest recovery, sure, testosterone is not low and you're not fucking going on pumping yourself full of drugs and all other kind of shit. So if you want in on that, just send me a private message, just put a comment below. I got to get rolling and go set up on the Zoom for this webinar, how to operate, to dominate in the mind, the body, and the business. This is coming up. It's completely free. So just let me know if you want access to it. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.